She wants peace and quiet. Go live in a fucking farm. Why is the attack on black so strong? Like, what is it about black identity that they want to destroy? Why are you programmed to hate? And don't come over here with the full A South. I ain't talking to no full A. When I said the girls boring, my image you look so bad. The baby hair that you guys do does not look good. What are you gonna do? Why can retail for the rest of your life? Yeah, I find that really annoying. Yes, I am naked. So okay guys, so before I go out today, I'm gonna give you like an update on like my situation with like housing, what's been going on. Um, so this lady above me is above me, um, we'll call her Karen, continues to try to control me and police me in my space. Housing then gives me a letter talking about antisocial um, behavior. I was told by one housing officer, keep the noise down after a certain point in time. That's what I did. New housing officer, just want to hear anything I say, any complaints, any opinions I have gets completely thrown out. I'm so fucking tired of it. Again, they always overlook everything that has to do with us and continues to give her privilege in the space. So we, where we are now is that I got a report with police, housing and the council making me look like I'm the issue. I cannot believe this shit. And I wrote a letter and said, I feel like the housing officer is prioritizing the feelings of the white tenant. Again, uh, I doubt it. I can't, how can you prove that? Well, so I put in a, I put in a written complaint about that. Went through, the guy, this happened in January, this is April. January, this whole process has been going on since January. I like, I saw court ombudsman. They said I got, I got to go for one more stage of the complaint. Okay, so the, the police don't seem to acknowledge racial, racial discrimination. That's not on their agenda. The housing association don't seem to um, acknowledge racial discrimination not on their agenda as well. So it's like, who the fuck can help me then? I went to the counsellor, I've gone through um, customer service, I've gone through the housing manager, the housing officer, I've gone through police. Um, I've gone through too many people and nothing's happened. Just message in society that people's feelings are more important than everybody else's. And no, they're fucking not. Fuck your feelings. Are you not going to listen to me when I tell you that she's filed false complaints? In every conversation, they somehow managed to disregard everything I'm fucking saying. So now I'm having to go to lawyers and get them to help me argue this case is mentally ill. The games they play. Disregard the rules for her and change the rules for me whenever it's, it's a complaint against against me. You, I'm going to continue to update you on this shit because we live in a world where people's feelings are prioritised above everybody else's. I'm so fucking tired of it. Like, they clan together and try to bully you and um, disregard your rights as a human being if you are black. And I hate living in this pissy ass, pissy area for the people here are fucking vile. So fucking corrupt. She wants peace and quiet. Go live in a fucking farm. With no neighbors and fucking sheep for neighbors. I will go through the steps. But there's gonna come a point where that's not gonna work. I'm expecting my printer today, which I'm really excited about. But show you the unboxing for my um, new printer. You gotta take care of yourself because these people are sick and they want you to be miserable like them. When we're drafting up um, the final complaint, and I'm not gonna let you see that, but because um, they like to fight with letters, don't they? What are the next riots do? Honestly, our black people and minorities in this country are too passive. We are too passive. We are allowed to treat us like this. We do not resist or fight for anything in this country. All we do is fight for fucking African Americans every five seconds. We don't fight for ourselves. We don't fight for our own rights. And we've got to stop that shit, man. And when we do it this time, go to their area. Go to their areas and do it. We can't keep treating people like this and think. The difference between America and England, yeah? England are very covert. Yeah, England are very covert, meaning they, they both abuse people in, emotionally and psychologically. But the way England do it is very subtle. It's so subtle, it's so discreet that you can almost deny it. Now, America, I've always been awful when it comes to their abuse because they're just so savage with it. You understand? They're so savage. Like, they will just do whatever in broad daylight and not even deny it. But the thing about America, England, that they are so covert, they will literally treat, treat you like shit, abuse you, and then deny your reality. Do you know what that's called? That's called gaslighting. That's, me that's, that's mental health. That's mentally ill, by the way. Both have in common is that they're both fucking abusive. They're both emotionally and psychologically abusive, especially to black people. That's what they both have in common. I'm gonna get into that later. I'm gonna get into like the history of, of abuse in this country and america because they've logged it i don't know why they've logged i don't know why they've logged their abuse but they have 
you know what else America and England have in common? A complete disregard for black feelings and prioritizing white feelings. Whenever they see black down here, they got the cover and carry on like that. So fucking annoying. I'll say that again. I'll say that. On the side streets, fuckers. I'm attracted to you, fucking men. You understand? They prioritize the people over everybody else, and I'm so fucking tired of it. I'm so fucking tired that they, they have a right to treat people like this. It's disgusting. So I'm just trying to figure out whether, whether my um, print is gonna arrive because I have to go back to make sure I'm in to get it. Anyway, I cut my uh, trousers because I, like, I like I like this length. The British are very cool, right? They're just so nice. There's smiles, full of smiles. Uh, very polite in their attack. Um, very calm in their attack and you know they're sending you letters and ready down with letters and stuff and warnings of your behavior because you're so bad we are too passive in this country guys yeah they can do whatever they want to us they can attack us disadvantage us and then we just have to what we don't do nothing we don't do shit all, all we do is fight for fucking america stop fighting for fucking america fuck america in this city in this country there's no black resistance and it's just if we don't resist how can we set a standard of behavior in terms of like telling people we, 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 we will not tolerate this treatment anymore treat us better but we have to start resisting because they're gonna think they can continue treating us like this and get away with it we can't we can't because we have to fight we have to speak up we have to use our voice and that's another thing they don't even allow you to even speak out about their abuse so once you speak out about a piece, guess what they do? You're racist. The British, the British hide behind their policies, their procedures, their systems, all that crap. That's, that's what they hide behind, you know, to fight you. Just for you to complain and go through the system. And then they what, deny everything that even happens. They deny your reality. I keep saying this, but at the end of the day, this whole thing is an attack on the identity and minds of black people. It's literally an attack on our whole fucking existence. If you can't see that, then I don't tell you. Like, have you ever thought, like, what is it about black people that... Oh, I mean, it's... Why is the attack on black so strong? Like, what is it about black identity that they want to destroy? You ever thought about that? Who are you? Why is the attack on black so strong? Like, what is it about black identity that they want to destroy? You ever thought about that? Who are you? Why are you so special that they must get rid of you? Express myself. Like calling me all kinds of names and trying to um, spite, and, uh, spite and disadvantage me. I have to find ways to express myself because you're too fucking abusive. You're fucking abusive. You're fucking uh, abusive ass community of people. So, I've got some new t shirts coming soon actually. It's called Fuck Your Feelings. If you're tired of living in a world that prioritizes feelings over black, go buy it. Yeah? I'll link it. Yeah, because that's what everyone's these tap dancing around these fucking people start fucking doing it. Small situation that could have been handled by basic management, and they refuse to deal with it because I'm not that I'm not a priority in their system. I know. Do this to so many of us. If you're this, make sure you let me know. Okay, but contact me. I'm gonna do a whole series on this because the disregard of black feelings in this society is an attitude that has been picked up from white people and everyone that needs copy white behavior yeah white racism white discrimination it's, it's becoming the norm especially against the group against the group of black people the black group the black race
I find I want a black neighborhood then? Can I have my all black neighborhood and treat you like crap? Yeah? Can I have all black neighborhoods? All housing associations that serve only black people. Can I do that? You know what I mean? Like I, I want to have I wanna have my own, I wanna be part of a black black community. Or the black we live in a black housing association or black neighbors or a black corner shop or a black supermarket these people are fucking psychopaths anyway i know my printer should be coming soon so in the wind was a bit nuts so i'm just gonna fix this um uh, i think last time you seen me like i've added to my i'm still still growing it's not perfect but it helps me to function in the morning but my print is here so i want to show you ah, she is pretty i'm so excited because i got so much writing to print out now we need to get this going now because devils you understand i'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put i got a book um i actually want to work on i think the first one i wasn't sure if the first book was going to be called but now i know it's going to be called. So I, want, I want to do a book on and uh, mental health she's beautiful but like where am i gonna put her it's gonna be a hold up please she's very pretty but where am i gonna put her i can't wait to write and print out some stuff it's been a school day this does i remember when um windows first came in we had to use the printer put in the ink so let's see if i can just do this quickly or oh, some quick thing hopefully i'm very grateful though because i used to go to the um library to print and that was just a nightmare like I hate using other people's shit, man. Just rub the back in. There's like any indicator. Oh, this oh, oh. oh, I think it's clocking a little ink. Let's put some ink in there. A black. A black here. And then the other is when we're younger. Yep. Paper. So I'm trying to find an angle. It's really hard. This is the paper that I bought from Asda. It's like four pounds. 99 this is premium quality we'll see um i'm gonna put some on the track so my printer i'm really sad right now guys i'm really sad because i've just been here trying to set up the printer and um so it doesn't it doesn't actually work via it doesn't seem like the printer the wireless printer can be set up via data i have data on my phone so i'm gonna have to get internet it seems to that you can only connect through um wi-fi how oh. I'm so sad. I was so close. Uh, I felt so. I spent forty pound on a printer that I can't even use now. I gotta get internet. Now I gotta get internet. I don't want to pay that internet fee. That's why I wanted to keep it into my phone bill. Okay, so whatever. Um, very disappointing. I was like trying to. What well, ChatGPT is telling me that um, I can set it up through my through my mobile hotspot. I'm, I'm gonna keep trying and see. I'm gonna keep trying. Turns out I'm gonna have to buy the USB. I bought a wireless printer just so I could buy it's brighter. Buy a USB, um, cool, whatever. I just want to say something. I said something earlier about um, always continue to make us guilty and they're innocent. We're wrong. They're right. We're black. They're I I genuinely believe the agenda has to do the agenda is about the attack on black identity i keep saying this it has to do with our true identity who we are on this earth and who we are in christ and what we are meant to do it, it is a spiritual attack guy disguised that that manifests in physical form so in physical form it manifests as, as law enforcement and all these systems and organizations that are against us i just had to say that a lot of people think like, why, why? No, no, no. It has to do with our identity and who we are in Christ. I thought the camera was over there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but um, I'm I'm happy that my printer's working. But I keep think I got I got some writing to do, man. I got some things to say. Like I really want to write this book. Like I said, I said the book was called um. Um. I'm really looking forward to writing it. So I'm looking for a USB now. So the computer is saying that I need to get a USB that's called USB Type B connector. And uh, let me show you back. Let me show you the back of the computer. So for here, so I'm gonna get it in here. 
that um yeah i need to connect it to my um usb i got work to do man it puts me over budget you know i um i wanted to spend a certain amount of money this i was i have no spend day so today was a tomorrow's a spending day today's a no spending day and then spend it on friday now i feel like i have to buy this but i'm gonna try and push it into uh, monday but do i really want to do that or i'll just get started now really dark in here guys I need to get a light um but i read a poem today um it's called uh, do you know who you work for and i feel like in this world we have control and we have influence and a lot of people have been influenced by um powers that they have no uh, that, 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 that they're not aware of influenced by negative powers to uh, fulfill a, an agenda i keep wondering like do you even know who you're working for who's giving you these orders to do all this who who's giving you these desires to create such destruction and why are you programmed to hate like who made you like i know who you work for but do you know another one called exposed and um, this is what i have to type up and put into my blog and um put into my um i keep that notepad there just so i can get it out quick it comes really quick so it's called exposed and it's about um when the truth is exposed all they do is try to cover their ass. They don't actually care about your well-being or what happened. It's about covering their ass, making sure that they look good. So it's always about, never, never about your feelings and serving you. Or always about protecting their self-image. On my blog, I have a blog about um, why I'm not buying any more cords from Amazon and stuff like that. I'm not buying any USB, HDMI, any USB ports, any USB connectors, cables, any any electronics. I am not buying from Amazon because I bought them and they're, they're so crap and cheap. They don't really connect and disconnect and connect. And it's the bit, they don't really work. So I'm looking for a USB, um, what is it? USB type B connector. And I'm looking for like a brand, a name brand. I don't know. They say you can buy it from anywhere. I'm like, no, baby. I want a, I want a professional store. I'm trying to think, what is that? Outside of Maplins and Argos, so who sells electronics? I'm writing to express my disappointment and frustration with the way my complaint has been handled so far. Despite raising concerns about the tenant above me, I feel that my complaints have been disregarded and the situation has not been addressed adequately. As the original complainant, I have been subjected to ongoing noise disturbances from the tenant above me. However, instead of addressing the issue, we've allowed the tenant to police me in my own space, causing me unnecessary stress and discomfort. I live alone and it is unfounded to suggest that I will be noisy and inconsiderate. The noises I make, such as laughing and coughing, are normal and I do not believe that they constitute to a disruption. It's unfair to compare my next to someone who prefers quiet silence, which is not realistic in a shared accommodation setting. I would like to clarify the correct guidance on noise levels and ask for a consistent approach to be taken. I am concerned that the tenant has probably created the entire diary of noise complaints.